Okay, uh, hi you two, the President Michael, and this is my update video on my lizard cage setup, or at least one of them. First I want to show you a couple additions I'm going to be putting in there soon. This is when I clean it next. Got a little house. It's not quite what I wanted. I wanted to get the coconut one, but I couldn't find quite the one I want. This I have to do is basically made plastic, shaped like a tree stump. Okay. Another addition is the water bottle. Now this is spring water, and I used it to um, spray down the leaves and the um, long tail lizard and the, and the um, green knolls because it helps to, um, they lick water off the leaves and their skin and it's healthier for them. Okay, now a couple mistakes I made. Now, this here, as I mentioned in my other one, the, the lid pulls out like a drawer. Well, it comes towards you, the camera. Now, I put the leaves and everything where it opens, which was a mistake because they always try to get out. And if I would have done it the other way, the screen top would have blocked it more. It wouldn't have been as much as a worry. Well, the long tail lizard has tried to get out a couple times. One time did. It took me over an hour to find him. And the uh, green and Noel, one of them got out and jumped into the turtle tank next to him. And luckily, I got him out in time. As if I didn't, my turtle would have had lunch. So when I clean the tank next, I got to switch everything around. Hopefully I get the thermometer off well enough so it sticks to here. And then I'll have to get a new one. i got to get a hydrometer anyways because I need to um, measure the humidity. It's important for a lizard's health. Now, if you may notice there is three green anoles in there now. Um, last night I caught one in my back porch. He actually bit me, but it doesn't hurt at all. Just take your finger and pinch it. That's it. It doesn't hurt. It more startles you. And I put them in there. So I have three. I probably won't add any more to this tank. That's probably already too much. This is a 10 gallon tank. Eventually I'm going to upgrade it to a bigger one. I was going to get another long tail lizard, but now I'm not going to. Um, I pretty much set on names. You know, the long tail lizard is called Longfellow. The first green doll I got was Charlie, Lucky Charlie. The next one is Bob. And the third one. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I might just use a common name too. Maybe Bill or something. Yeah, Bill. It's called Billy. That's fine. Billy. Um, you might be able to see them. They're right there. The one green and all. And the long tail lizard is on his back. Then the green and all is right there in the um, branch. He's ch changing from green and brown. And the uh, Third green and all is in there someplace. Now, what I've been feeding them has been crickets. Now, I've heard that the long, the uh, green and all will eat grass too, but I'm not sure about that. I gotta investigate it more. I've been let me show you. I've been feeding them crickets. I just started recently dusting them with this reptile calcium. With this reptile calcium. And I've been putting in some other stuff. As you see some flying around there, I caught a moth. I know they eat moths. And I caught brought a few other bugs in from outside. They've actually been eating them, so I want to vary their diet. Um one of them oh yeah. One other mistake I made on the bottom. See that soil, that substrate? And I showed what I used in my previous video. I put that layer way, way too thin. From my understanding, it should be two to three inches of it. So when I clean the tank, which I'm going to have to do soon, because surprisingly, these guys are actually kind of messy. They'll, the green nose will be on the um, glass here. And they actually poop right on the glass. You might be able to see it. It's all over the um, vine now. So I was hoping to wait two months. I'm probably going to have to do it every month. Then there's some of the calcium powder on here and there. One thing I noticed with the water, I can't see them drinking a lot of it. I haven't seen them drink any, but it goes pretty fast, and I think because of the light, it evaporates a lot. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll probably get some more fake plants. 
Um, I've been told you can buy some real plants that they could uh, hide in, which I might do. So when I make all my changes with my tank, I'll film again and show you what I added and what I took out. Um, that's pretty much it. Let me see if I could zoom in in the um, green and yellow long tail lizard where they're Oh, there it is. So you get a good look at them. You see the long tail lizard on top of one of the green anoles. And they, oh, they've been shedding too since I got them. Um, that's pretty much it. I have to film a video showing my turtle. I have to do a video showing the, um, the bearded dragon. But I'll get more into that. I'll do separate videos explaining the care that's involved and actually with a turtle even and beer dragon there's more care to them than you think uh... well that's pretty much it like i said i'll be filming more soon okay this is president michael and it is i think may the fourteenth twenty fourteen and i look forward to talking to you again soon oh well, you know wait a minute let me do one more thing before we go let me spray this and show you now they always run, but this is the best for them. I'll only show you when I spray these guys down. See? That gets them wet. Now you can't see him, of course. I uh, probably should have took a picture of that guy on top of him, but it'll happen again. Okay. Well, that's it, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.